Hi there. Following World War II, Okinawa was under residual United States sovereignty and the US established numerous bases there, military bases, <clears throat> many of which still remain, and stationed probably thousands of service personnel on the island. Many of these um, trained in the, the various forms of karate that were there, um, Goju-ryu, uh, Shorin, for example, but there were also some um, less reputable, more um, um, cash for grades type setups, which uh, the servicemen were, were lured into, um, um, which made money for the local instructors who really didn't have that much of a background in many cases. But um, the author of the book we're talking about, George Matson, he was a service man stationed in Okinawa and he trained in Oechi Ryu, which is one of the most respected systems. And he uh, gained his black belt the hard way. And upon returning to the United States, set up um, a, a network of dojo in uh, Massachusetts. And then uh, shortly afterwards, he wrote the book, um, The Way of Karate, um, which outlined uh, Weichi Ryu. And, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, I, the, the book is uh, another of the very high production quality books with excellent photo reproduction. And I first read it um, like, um, the uh, Art of Empty Hand Fighting uh, in the library in Liverpool uh, where it was kept under lock and key for reasons I've already mentioned and uh, I, I was intrigued by the system which was um, obviously different from Shotokan and it um, the stances were shorter and so on and uh, I, I found it very, very interesting. One of the things that uh, was taught in the book was when, when you did a punch, it retracted straight away. So like kind of side on, it would be, well, I'll, we'll do it this way. Punch and retract, snap down into this position, which I, I found interesting. Uh, it was a very, very well explained book. And eventually, um, some years later, I started corresponding with uh, George Matson in America, and he, he was very, very helpful. And he actually um, started sending me um, booklets that he was producing. Uh, he sent them for, for n at no cost. Uh, and these actually built up and eventually became his second book, um, which is a, a very full much more full description of Weichi Ryu, many more historical photographs, lots more about the history and um, all the kata of the system. Uh, I um, went, when we went to Okinawa, it was the system that I most wanted to see because I'd never seen any of it except in a book. Um, and we, um, went to the headquarters in uh, Kaidena and uh, met Master uh, Kanai Weichi himself, the, the chief instructor, and uh, saw the system. And when I, I got back, um, a good friend of mine who I'd worked with um, on the top rank, Harry Benfield, and we trained together quite a bit, and um, I put him in touch with George Matson and he went over to the United States and he trained and he introduced Weichi Ryu into, into the UK. Um, and so sometime later, um, he, he had a couple of visiting instructors. One came over from France, he was Japanese. And um, I got a, a phone call and Harry, uh, it was a Sunday and we trained uh, in Goju or, or at our dojo in the sports center on a Sunday. And he said, this, this guy's just 
pitched up at my my house who's from france but he's japanese anyway they came down and um uh, had he contacted as many of his guys and we did it like a mixed class um but then sometime later um a chap called bobby campbell was returning from the far east and he passed through liverpool and we got to meet him there was a photo i put and bobby not only had done Weichi Root, he was already a black belt under George Matson, and he'd gone over to Okinawa and trained, but he had done many, many other systems, some of the Southeast Asian systems, a lot of the Chinese systems. And um, at this session, uh, he demonstrated many weapons kata, Chinese weapons kata, and uh, he was very impressive. Uh, a, a terrific and a really great guy too so the, the, that was another of the Wei Chi Ru guys that I met um, as I say um, George Matson produced the second book there's a picture of it there um, and I would regard that really as his master work um, one of the things I always found interesting was the similarities between uh, Goju and Weichiru. Um, in Goju, Master Kanryo Higuana went to Fukien, China and uh, learned the system there, brought it back to Okinawa and eventually became known as Goju, it was never called that. Um, and similarly, uh, Kanbom Weichi went again to Fuke in China, which is the nearest part of China to Okinawa. And he studied Pangai Noon and he brought it back. And they're very similar. They both, um, the central kata is uh, Sanchin and it, it, both systems can be classified as hard. Anyway, um, Wei Chi Ryu um, remains one of the major systems of Okinawan uh, karate. Um, it's always fascinated me i've never really trained in it um but i, I always enjoyed seeing it and reading about it and th these books um deserve uh, much interest and particularly the, the first book which really got me interested in the system and also led me to meet a lot of very very interesting people <laughs>